Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for January 21st, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thoughts for the day. Illusion. No person likes to think he is bodily and mentally different from his fellows. Therefore, it is not surprising that our drinking careers have been characterised by countless vain attempts to prove we could drink like other people. The idea that somehow, someday, he will control and enjoy his drinking is the great obsession of every abnormal drinker. The persistence of this illusion is astonishing. Many pursue it into the gates of insanity or death. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 30. Thought to Consider The two most dangerous words in a recovering alcoholic's vocabulary are I'm different. Acronyms ASK ASS SAVING KIT Just for today Experience from more about alcoholism To us it is not far-fetched for this kind of thinking has been characteristic of every single one of us. There was always a curious mental phenomenon that parallel with our sound reasoning there inevitably ran some insanely trivial excuse for taking the first drink. Our sound reasoning failed to hold us in check. The insane idea won out. Next day we would ask ourselves in all earnestness and sincerity how it could have happened. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 37. Daily Reflections Serving My Brother The member talks to the newcomer, not in a spirit of power, but in a spirit of humility and weakness. This Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 279. As the days pass in AA, I ask God to guide my thoughts and the words that I speak. In this labour of continuous participation in the fellowship, I have numerous opportunities to speak. So I frequently ask God to help me watch over my thoughts and my words, that they may be true and proper reflections of our programme. To focus my aspirations once again to seek his guidance, to help me be truly kind and loving, helpful and healing, yet always filled with humility and free from any trace of arrogance. Today I may very well have to deal with disagreeable attitudes of utterances, the typical stock-and-trade attitude of the still-suffering alcoholic. If this should happen, I will take a moment to centre myself in God so that I will be able to respond from a perspective of composure, strength and sensibility. As Bill sees it, citizens again. Each of us in turn that is, the member who gets the most out of the programme, spends a very large amount of time on 12th step work in the early years. That was my case, and perhaps I should not have stayed sober with less work. However, sooner or later, most of us are presented with other obligations to family, friends and country. As you will remember, the 12th step also refers to practising these principles in all our affairs. Therefore, I think your choice of whether to take a particular 12th step job is to be found in your own conscience. No one else can tell you for certain what you ought to do at a particular time. I just know that you are expected at some point to do more than carry the message of AA to other alcoholics. In AA, we aim not only for sobriety, we try again to become citizens of the world that we rejected and of the world that once rejected us. This is the ultimate demonstration towards which 12th step work is the first but not the final step. That's from a letter, 1959. Big book quote. My old manner of life was by no means a bad one, but I would not exchange its best moments for the worst I have now. I would not go back to it even if I could. Alcoholics Anonymous says, more about alcoholism, page 43. A liquor was but a symptom. From Alcoholics Anonymous, how it works, page 64. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. To grasp the AA program, we have to think things out. St. Paul says they are transformed by the renewing of their minds. We have to learn to think straight. We have to change from alcoholic thinking to sober thinking. We must build up a new way of looking at things. Before we came into AA, we wanted an artificial life of excitement and everything that goes with drinking. That kind of a life looked normal to us then, but as we look back now, that life looks like the exact opposite of normal. In fact, it looks almost abnormal. We must re-educate our minds. Am I changing from an abnormal thinker to a normal thinker? Meditation for the day. 
I will take the most crowded day without fear. I believe that God is with me in controlling all. I will let confidence be the motive running through all the crowded day. I will not get worried because I know that God is my helper. Underneath are the everlasting arms. I will rest in them even though the day is full of things crowding in upon me. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be calm and let nothing upset me. I pray that I may not let material things control me and choke out the spiritual things. From Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig M and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.